Do you remember the robot Dumb E in the movie Iron Man? It communicated with Tony Stark to create the Iron Man suit and helped him with the demonstration. This robot that seems to only belong in science fiction movies now exists in reality. All About Robot Episode 4 Collaborative Robots Cobot Cobot is short for Collaborative Robot and refers to robots that collaborate directly with people. They're small and easy to install, so there's no need for a safety fence, unlike with industrial robots. They're also beneficial because they can work in the same area as people. Then is Cobot the name for anything that collaborates with people? That's not true. In order to become a Cobot, these robots need to satisfy the safety requirements in ISO TS 15066. First, safety rated monitored stop. The robot must stop when a person enters the task area. Second, hand guiding. They must only work according to the force that is applied through the worker's touch. Third, speed and separation monitoring. The robot must only move when there is a certain amount of distance between them and a person. Fourth, power and force limiting by inherent design or control. When a contact accident occurs, they must prevent the accident by delivering a limited amount of power. The cobot must satisfy at least one of these requirements, and when a cobot is working, it must have an indicator that shows that it's working. Only then can it be called a cobot. All of these requirements are related to safety. This is because safety is the most important thing for cobots that work in the same area as human workers. In other words, cobots are essentially industrial robots that satisfy the safety certification ISO TS 15066. Then why do we use cobot? First, they make it easy to reduce costs. There's no need to install a safety fence so Cobot can be placed anywhere in the factory. As a result, it's easy to change the layout, and this reduces equipment investments. Second, they're easy to test drive. Cobots are easy to intuitively teach without requiring expert knowledge by simply moving the body of the robot. For example, if you look at the smart green zone of the Hyundai Robotics Cobot, you can order it to move by simply pressing the hand grip switch. There's a location recording switch, a free motion switch that allows the robot to move freely in all directions, and fixed motions where the robot can only move in a certain direction. Third, they reduce safety accidents. Cobots help prevent accidents because you can precisely control their power more easily than industrial robots. This is due to the structural characteristics of Cobot. Let's take a look at the structural characteristics of Cobots through the Hyundai Robotics Cobot. First, there's a torque sensor. There's a sensor installed in all six torque axes. Thanks to these sensors, we can get much more accurate coordinates than simple current calculations. They can detect collisions, secure safety, and exert just the right amount of power for more precise movements. Second is the location of the servo driver module. The servo driver module moves the robot through current control. They're in the controller of industrial robots, but for cobots, they're located in each joint. Double calculations are performed on the robot's location value, so it's much more precise and safe. Cobots each have advantages in addition to their structural characteristics. Let's examine the benefits of the cobots that will be released by Hyundai Robotics in August. First, this cobot has great user convenience. It comes equipped with pneumatic cables, so there are no cables on the outside of the robot. For industrial robots, cables are tied on the exterior of the robot and connected to the controller, but these cables might disrupt the cobot's ability to detect collisions. It provides two tool flange basic airs, which make it easy to use. Second, maintenance is simple. This robot comes with a single integrated drive module that is easy to replace. So if you ever need a follow-up service, it's very easy to fix by just replacing the part. As a result, you can minimize line downtime. Third, this cobot has high capacity computing power. It has high capacity power modules that can be used even in high weight lifting cobots. Moreover, if power is temporarily unstable in the controller, 
there's a buffer function that can be used to compensate for the lack of power. Fourth, it has a user-friendly design. This robot received the Best of Best Award from the 2019 Red Dot Awards. They implemented a curved design to minimize the hardness of industrial robots, and this design improves safety by preventing jamming accidents caused by clothes getting stuck in the crevices. Lastly, in what industries are cobots used? In industries including machine tending, pick and place, assembly, gluing, bonding, packaging and palletizing, inspection, welding, service, and more. Cobots are one of the most popular fields in the fourth industrial revolution. ABI Research, which is a market research institution based in the United Kingdom, reported that even though the cobot market size took up only 5% of the entire robot market at $700 million in 2019, they expect this field to grow to 28.6% of the entire robot market at $11.8 billion by 2030. Hyundai Robotics is stepping into the field of collaborative robots by using all of their expertise gathered from over 30 years of developing industrial robots. We hope you'll take an interest in the Hyundai Robotics Cobot, which will be released in August 2020.